Hi everybody, this is Betty Dixon. I thought I'd share with you an asana which can be rejuvenating, tonifying, and invigorating all at the same time. It only takes about 10 minutes to run through, and it's something that you can add to your daily practice. The best thing about it is it does not require you to get down on the floor, so if you have any limitations to your knees, or your back, or your hips, this is something that you might want to try. It's also a great alternative if you find sun salutations are too uh, difficult, too challenging for you. This is something that you can put in its place. It's also something that you might want to consider if you're getting drowsy in the mid-afternoon when you get that point where you're starting to feel tired. You need to just invigorate your body and get some energy moving. This is a great way to add that little burst of energy to get you through the rest of the day. So what will you need? If you don't have access to any yoga blocks, then just feel free to grab a couple books or a rolled up towel. And you would use these to reach closer to the ground if your hands don't touch. Either way, if you don't have either of those, then you can just bring your hands to your shins or as close to your feet as they will come. Additionally, if you're feeling a little unbalanced, I would recommend staying close to a wall or you can even use a chair, turn it around, keep the back close to you. So let's get started. We wanna stand on our mat in Tadasana. Tadasana is called mountain pose. It's very grounding, very um, balancing for our entire body, our entire system. So we're gonna start with just bringing our feet about hip distance apart. And let's bring our toes up if you can. Just draw them up and then very slowly we want to place them back down on the mat. Ground your heels into the mat. Tuck your tailbone under. Let's take a deep inhale. Draw those shoulders up to your ears and then as you exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Let's do that a few times. A big inhale, roll up the shoulders. Exhale rolling down your back. Each time you do this, you're relaxing your body. You're letting go of any stress or tension that you might be harboring inside. So do that a few more times. Good. Okay, so we're going to start with the asana now. This is called Padahasana hand to foot pose. We're gonna inhale, bring both arms up. Reach through your fingertips, elongating the body. With an exhale, we're gonna bring our right arm down to the side, the left arm goes over. Inhale back up to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale back up to center. Exhale down as you bend your knees. Now we're gonna inhale like we're picking something up. We call this prana, which is energy. And then as you exhale, rotate your arms behind you. Now if you have a shoulder limitation, you can always bring your hands to your chest, one hand on each shoulder like this. So to proceed, bring your arms behind you and back over kind of like you're throwing a baseball. Come all the way into a forward fold. Here's where you would use a block or some books or even a rolled up towel. So we're gonna take a few deep breaths here. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And as you exhale, try to relax your neck and your head. Your gaze should be at your knees or your shins or even your thighs. This will help relax your neck. And just take a few deep breaths here, letting everything go. Now we're gonna inhale back up, bringing the arms out to the side. This is called reverse swan. Come all the way up. We're gonna exhale into goddess. Elbows are bent, lower back, slightly arched, and the chin just slightly up. We're gonna inhale next, bring the arms all the way up, fill your lungs. As you exhale, forward fold, blowing all that air out of your lungs. And just let your arms hang. 
kind of like a rag doll. You want your shoulders to be completely relaxed. And again, relax your head. So you're looking at your legs. Deep breaths here. You can even turn your head very gently side to side. You want to release any tension in our neck and our shoulders. Now we're going to inhale back up. Reverse swan, arms come out to the side. All the way up, palms together. And then with an exhale, arch your upper back. You don't need to go back far for this to be effective. Just a slight arch, little back bend. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale up, reach through the fingertips. Bring your right arm down the side, left arm over. This is stretching your side body. A few deep breaths here. Inhale back up. Exhale down. Other side. Inhale to center. Exhale down. Bend your knees. Big inhale here. We're gathering prana energy. All the way up. Exhale as you rotate forward into forward fold. Deep breaths here. You can grab your feet if you like, grab your big toe, or put your hand on a block or a book. With each exhale, just try to let go of any tension, any stressors that you might be experiencing. I like to imagine the rolling off my back into the ground. No longer something I need to worry about. Now we're gonna inhale back up, reverse swan, arms come out wide. Exhale into goddess. Big inhale, fill your lungs up completely, and then we're going to blow all that air out into a forward fold. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders. If your hamstrings are tight, the back of your legs, just put a slight bend in your knees. And again, let's inhale back up, reverse swan. Lower back bend. And exhale to the heart center. Now we're going to pick up the pace a little bit. If you start to feel dizzy or uneasy, unsteady, then just slow it down. You can modify this to fit your needs. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale down. Bend your knees. Big inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your block or your toes. Let's take a few deep breaths here, releasing any stress or tension that no longer serves us. Deep breaths. Inhale back up, reverse swan. Exhale into goddess. Big inhale, fill up your lungs completely, and then we're going to blow all the air out. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale back up, reverse swan. Little back bend. And exhale to your heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Exhale, inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back up to the center. Exhale down. Big inhale. Let's get some of that energy moving. Exhale, forward fold or bring your hands to your shoulders. Deep breaths here. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale into goddess. Big inhale, fill up your lungs like it's your last breath, and then exhale it all out. <sighs> Letting go of anything that no longer serves us. Letting go of worry, stress, tension, things that we do not need. Now let's inhale back up. Little back bend. And inhale back to center, exhale as you bring your hands back down to heart center. So I invite you to stay here for just a moment. Feel free to close your eyes or look down at the floor. 
And just notice how your body feels. So thank you for practicing this asana with me today. I hope that you will give it a try on a daily basis. Again, you can speed it up if you need to invigorate your system or take it slow to just release and relax. Whatever works for your body is how you should use it. Thank you again. I hope that you will stay well and namaskar.